Mm-hmm. Diagnosis mm-hmm. from Ayurvedic medicine. So in, in Western medicine, they only use the radial pulse for measurement of the cardiovascular system. So they measure rate, rhythm, contour, and amplitude. But in Ayurvedic medicine and also traditional Chinese medicine, they use a three-point pulse reading. And there's a superficial and there's a deep reading. So on the superficial side, on the right, it goes like this. Large intestine, stomach, adrenal gland, thyroid. And on the deeper level, it goes lungs, spleen, organs of reproduction. So we'll start off with the superficial on the right. Good, your, your um, pulse is actually, it's like faint. It's like shy a little bit. It's, I thought you were going to be a pitta, but you're not a pitta. You actually do have some vata quality in you, so like more air and ether than there is fire and water. Good, very consistent though. Uh, how is digestion usually for you? Do you, you have a pretty clean diet? Oh, I wish I could say that, but not really. <laughs> okay. Do you have any food sensitivities? Recently, I have been. What are they? Dairy? <sighs> not to, like meat recently. Do you know what your blood type is? I do not know. Okay. The Vata constitution definitely is, uh, does well with plant-based diets. Mm-hmm. So just red meat or chicken too? It's been red meat. It's been red meat. Are you getting um, heartburn and digestion? Or? It's digestion, yeah. Like fast. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, thyroid adrenal. I can see cold. Excuse me. I can see cold sensitivities with this. Feet and hand coldness. Does that start first? Are your feet always cold or is it just like chilling your bones? Definitely feet for sure. Okay. Fingers. All right, let's go down to the deeper layer here. Good lungs are bumping, no asthma or anything like that ever. I do have asthma, but it's seasonal. It's not. Okay, so it's, so it's an allergy. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense because the next one here for the spleen. Okay, reproductive system, very steady. You, are you on birth control? Mm-hmm. 28 day cycle or do you don't get a cycle? I do get a cycle, yeah. reproductive pulse here it's like it's kind of quiet so did you have you been over your cycle for like a week now yeah mm-hmm. so the three constitutions are vata pitta kapha Vata is the air and ether. Pitta is the fire and water, and the kapha is the earth and water. So, like, this is like the long and lean people. Pitta is more muscular. So, you you, you have the physical disposition of a pitta because you, you are very muscular. But a lot of the other things that you're saying are very vata. So, you have a mixture of both, really. Mm. But not a whole lot of kapha stuff out here. That's good. Kapha is like that. The caretaker mm-hmm. so like you you're technically in healthcare you're definitely doing a yeah you know, it, there's definitely is some like ceremonial aspect to what you do yeah you know, it's a big deal for people to get that mm-hmm. you're holding space for people in a, in a very special way that's cool yeah. hmm. you you might be tridoshic actually you might have pretty close to even all three doshas which is uh which is rare hmm. Okay, so on the left side, superficial, it goes small intestine, gallbladder, urinary bladder, like this. 
Okay, again, very consistent and small bladder, or yeah, small intestine, just talking a little bit more loudly than the other ones right now, which suggests that you are vata. It's your air and your ether quality coming more, coming through more clearly. And then gallbladder feels good too. We're going to go down to the deep layer, kidney, heart, lung. Good, very strong kidney and heart pulses. It's just my kidney, heart. Kidney, liver, heart, sorry. Good, very strong kidney. Liver meridian is perfect, and then the heart is also very strong. No dysfunctions with cardiovascular ever. You've never had to be tested for anything. Heart palpitations, dizziness. No, thank God. Okay, let's go. Okay, there's one more reading. Do you know what the chakras are? Mm -mm. Uh, I've heard of them, but I don't know too much. Okay, so these are like like energy centers in your body. Because everything's made up of energy. So like these are areas in your body where the energy is more dense. chakra there okay you have a little bit of root chakra stuff going on but that's because you just moved and but that's but you moved home so it's actually advantageous you're, you're already familiar with this stuff okay but uh it, it definitely feels like uh like this sense of unconditionality so heart chakra is all about uh it's all about love and uh, and I think that, okay, so just from what it sounds like in combination with everything, like the way that like your, 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 um, your constitution is set up is that like you can resist the abundance of love in the world if, if, you're, if you're too tense. You know what I mean? You have to relax into love, not force it, not look for it, mm -hmm. not daydream about it. It's right there in front of you. And so like, and all it takes is really just a couple of soft breaths and then it's right there all around you. You know what I mean? It's all around you, all inside of you all the time. And so like, if you just like let go and it's right there waiting for you just to let go and acknowledge it, which you do, you, you know that you're loved and blessed and that's good. But like, that's the part of your journey that you're on right now. Because, uh, okay, so big steps, big stages. I see life transitions, recent and future. So you're in the middle of two major life transitions. Uh, one was a move and then the other one in marriage. So like being in between those two, uh, uh, those two places is, is got you um, kind of like a guitar string. Mm -hmm. Like it's anchored at both. And then it, like when you play it and like it's, and then like it plays this really high pitch uh, or it plays whatever pitch that you, it's tuned to. And so like right now your instrument is tuned up a little bit too high. We need to unwind it a little bit and that way it can, it can be in harmony with your true vibration, which you're right there. Um, yeah, you're very powerful, you're very consistent. You got a good head on your shoulders. Parents are still together. They're, my mom remarried, so but they're in a great relationship. My mom and my stepdad. So okay, very good. Yeah. Did 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 you know your dad? Um. Yeah. Like he wasn't in my life growing up, but we are rekindling this relationship, and he's definitely putting effort oh. in now. Okay. So. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. That's significant to you. Yes, for sure. But it's also weird in this phase of my life where I'm now getting married and like mm -hmm. you know making big decisions and stuff like that on how i want my wedding to go you know things like that yeah yeah uh-huh okay okay this is significant then all right so uh yeah so you're an adult and you can make your own decisions and you don't have to have anyone in your life uh at all but life is certainly sweeter with quality relationships and number one indicator of happiness is the quality of our relationship. So mm -hmm. definitely, have you ever told your dad how you feel? Have you, do you get real with him? Are you um, ever like, we never had that like, 
The elephant in the room conversation. Okay, yeah. that's it. You need to have the elephant in the room conversation with your dad before you get married. Mm. Dad, you weren't around when I was a kid. <laughs> that makes me feel blank. You're here now and I appreciate it. I'm getting, I'm, I'm taking my time and getting used to it and I'm communicating with you that this maybe isn't easy for me or this is, there's, you feel this way about getting together now. I feel I'm unsure about getting together now. I'm open to it. I would love to have a relationship with you. And yeah, uh, and you probably want to hear him say he's sorry. Yeah. Did he ever say it? No. <laughs> okay, then then the thing that, to, that you do is you, okay, so that's good because like uh, everything about heart chakra it either comes down to either gratitude or mm -hmm. forgiveness. And so, like, you can always preemptively forgive him without the apology. And, and that immediately will dissolve the tension if you can find true forgiveness. And then, and then let that be the base of your new relationship with him. And, it, and it's unfortunate, and it, it puts a distance between you. You know what I mean? When you have to forgive someone because they hurt you, there's always something that, re there's always some part of you that remembers that. And then it becomes like a, a like a part of your your field. You know what I mean? It becomes part of your history and your story that you tell, and it'll always be there. So you always keep it in the back of your mind. And it's, and after you've been hurt, sometimes it's hard to open up your heart again. Um, and so you just have to remember that you're really approaching that relationship as a child. You know what I mean? Because it's still your inner child that wants the validation, but the adult you now is kind of like well where you been you know what I mean mm -hmm. and like so like having those two people meet having your having your adult self meet your child self you know that's the real conversation that you have you have a conversation with you yourself as a child as if you were a parent and be like this is this person they did their best always we just trust that everyone always does their best and they were in their space at that time and here's how we're going to resolve and move forward now with either with boundaries and with communication about those boundaries. Oh. Dad, you're great. We can talk. We want to have lunch on Sundays and we can catch up. And then, you know, maybe if I can depend on you to help me move into my new house, or maybe I can depend on you to be a grandpa when your grandchild's two years old and everyone's got to go to work or whatever it is, you know, then, uh, yeah. Do you have any questions? Any no, questions I'm like mind blown. I'm like at a loss for words because you totally just like yeah. read me, like read, mm -hmm. read every part of me. So yeah. that's wild. You know what I mean? But, but your heart chakra really was the chakra that showed up, which was surprising because like you think it would be root chakra because you just moved and you're obviously still processing that move. But really heart chakra is a big one to come up with because it's right in the middle. This is it. This is the frequency of nature. This is this is ishk is what it's called in Arabic. Mm -hmm. And so it's, this is the love of the universe. Mm -hmm. And it really has nothing to do with anybody else except for you. Like it's not relationships. It's not in your hips. It's all here. It's mm -hmm. a good place to be. Do you have any questions right now? No, this was awesome. This was the best experience I've ever had. So, thank you. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> thank awesome. you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Yes.